Hi, I'm Ray Ciramelli. I'm one of the master instructors here at STI Electronics. Today we're going to discuss hot tips number five, wire preparation for crimping. Before we get started, we have a couple of important notes when you're preparing wire for crimp terminations. Number one, it's important to remember that we only crimp stranded wire. We can never crimp solid wire unless it is specifically called for in our work instructions. Number two, when we're doing crimp terminations, the wire shall not be tinned. Let's begin with mechanical strippers. There are various types of mechanical strippers with varying degrees of control. One type is totally variable and can be selected by the operator. Another type is what we call a fixed die configuration. And then there are highly automated wire strippers. Of course, at no time would you be allowed to use an X-Acto knife, scalpel, or pocket knife for stripping the insulation. We are going to demonstrate fixed die configuration. As you can see, we're inserting the wire into a special portion of the dies. This close-up view shows us that the die has several openings that correspond to different wire gauges. Once we have this locked in, we use the plier grips to separate the wire insulation on the wire and then remove the insulation slug by twisting it in the same direction as the wire lay. Here we can see that the wire has had the insulation stripped off of it and this is acceptable. Now we'll demonstrate thermal strippers. When using thermal strippers, the wire should be inserted to the specified strip length or you could use the wire stops on the device. Now we gently squeeze the tweezer hand grips together and this will allow the hot tweezer tips to melt through the insulation. It's important that we turn either the tweezer handpiece or the wire to eliminate the flash or the portion of the insulation that would not get melted through. Once we have melted through the insulation, we will take the insulation slug and remove it from the wire. We may also restore the strands to the original wire lay. You may have noticed a little struggling trying to remove the insulation from the thermally stripped wire. Let's see what causes this. As we look at this image, this is a mechanically stripped pair of wires. And you can see that the insulation has already been separated. This is nice. It makes it very easy for the operator to remove the insulation slug However, there is a slight risk that the dies may scrape or nick the wire strands. This image shows two thermally stripped wires. If you look closely, you can see that the hot tweezers have melted down through the insulation. But the difference is they have not separated the insulation slug. As a matter of fact, there is a thin film of insulation still connecting both pieces. This is beneficial from a strand damage point of view because the tweezers never actually make contact with the wire strands. But it can make it very difficult to break that bond and remove the insulation slug. 
Here's a close-up view of both mechanically stripped and thermally stripped wire to make it easier to see the differences. This completes Hot Tips number 5. Please stay tuned to YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn for the next exciting Hot Tips. We hope this brief video gives you some idea of our capabilities in the training department. Whether you need customized training, industry certification, online training, training at our facility or yours, we can do it. STI, this is the training you deserve.